Hello everyone, I am Chandragant Mishra, your Gate Mentor. I will be taking some of the conceptually important topics of electronics engineering which will be very much helpful for Gate, ES and any other engineering competitive exam. Let us start. Today's topic is Bandwidth Requirement of Digital Communication Systems. Before proceeding Bandwidth Calculation, let us discuss something about the baseband pulses. First, we will discuss the sync pulses. We know that rectangular pulse using the duality, I can write replace TB with RB. So, I will have So, rectangular pulse at the rate of RB pulse per second, I require the bandwidth of that pulse is the RB by 2. How? If you draw this, this side, Right. So, you can see that the baseband bandwidth is the RB by 2. So, we conclude that the rectangular pulse at a rate of RB pulse per second has the bandwidth of RB by 2. You should note that bit duration TB is equal to 1 upon R. So, we conclude that ideally Data transmission is RB beats per second then bandwidth it occupies on channel RB by 2. In general, symbols per second then bandwidth required is rs by 2 hertz extending it to the rest cosine pulse R is often represented in percentage. So, this is the bandwidth requirement of baseband digital transmission. So, if the pulse is the rectangular pulse, rectangular non return to zero pulse so bandwidth will be the rs by 2 into 1 plus 1 that is rs actually the non return to zero pulse is like this because it is a baseband pulse. So, bandwidth of the baseband pulse is the your RS. Normally, this is in the form of like this a spectrum. So, this distance is your RS. Now, let us move to the carrier modulation. In fact, digital carrier So, you know that when baseband signal is modulated with a carrier, a spectrum shifted. First case is the BPSK. 
and BASK binary phase shift key and binary amplitude shift key. So the spectrum will be shifted, you know, from the basic theory of some modulations. Let's say we have the baseband pulse, right? In more general, the raised cosine baseband pulse. So the baseband pulse has the let's say this is the spectrum of the baseband pulse this side is your rs by 2 1 plus r and this side is your negative rs by 2 1 plus r so this spectrum will be shifted so total bandwidth it occupies will be the twice of this so this will be the rs 1 plus r so both bpsk and bask so in ideal case when nothing is mentioned you will take the ideal case in the ideal case r equal to 0 and bandwidth requirement is your rs and rectangular non return to zero pulse in this case it is exactly r equal to 1 so bandwidth will be the 2 rs and raised cosine this is the values for raised cosine next we will move to the bfsk binary frequency shift king First, we'll discuss the non-coherent. So total bandwidth required for the channel is the RB2 plus R, RB2 plus R. Similarly, you can calculate the bandwidth for the ideal case, that is R equal to 0, ideal case, raised cosine case this is this one and the rectangular non return to zero pulse case r equal to 1 next is the coherent case so bandwidth requirement will be the if you draw this this is your f1 and this is your f2 and this distance is your r v by 2 and this one is your rb by 2 into 1 plus r because the spectrum will be and this distance is your rb by 2 into 1 plus r so total this is the occupied bandwidth and that will be the uh, rb this is the occupied bandwidth this will be the rb1 plus r plus half that is rb into 1.5 plus r so in ideal case r equal to 0 so bandwidth will be the 1.5 rv Arranged cosine case already calculated and the rectangular pulse NRJ type symbol. So R you can take R equal to 1. So bandwidth will be the 2.5 RV. 
let us move to the MR, ASK and PSK. Each symbol represents n equal to log base to m bits. For example, m equal to 16, 16, 16 quam of 16 ASK, 16 PSK, you require no, each symbol represents n equal to log to 16, that is 4 bits. So bandwidth will be the for this case as usual symbol rate symbol rate is equal to bit rate upon n. This RS is sometimes called the baud rate. Baud rate is equal to bit rate upon n and n you know number of bits each symbol is represented. So now we'll move to the bandwidth efficiency. Bandwidth efficiency is the bit rate upon transmission bandwidth. Transmission bandwidth. So here is the RB transmission bandwidth. We have calculated RS into 1 plus R. So but we know that RS equal to RB upon N. So N in upon 1 plus r so you can say for ideal case r equal to 0 bandwidth efficiency will be the n non return to 0 rectangular pulse case r equal to 1 so in that case bandwidth efficiency will be the n upon next we will discuss the 4 f s k that is the 4 symbol represents here so we will only discuss the coherent case and you can easily extend to the non-coherent case. You have four symbols, so four carriers are required. F1, F2, F3, F4 and each carrier represents two bits. So as usual you can draw this and you know that this is the RS by 2 this distance is the rs by 2 this distance is rs by 2 this distance is rs by 2 and if you draw that this spectrum like this this is your rs by 2 into 1 plus r this distance is the rs by 2 into 1 plus r so total bandwidth required is the r all these together so transmission bandwidth required is equal to rs by 2 into 1 plus r here rs by 2 into 1 plus r so this both extreme terms gives you rs into 1 plus r and how many middle middle distance 1 2 3 each one is the rs by 2 so 3 into rs by 2 so ultimately you will get rs into 2.5 plus r right similarly you can find the bandwidth of non-coherent that will be your rs because that time will be 3 so, so it will be 4 plus r so all these i have represented in the raised cosine pulse case and ideal case r equal to zero hope you have understood the concepts behind bandwidth calculation of digital carrier communications thanks for watching this video